Hey guys, to see a pre-review announcement as we are giving away, or we will be giving away, the Rokat Cone Pure Hellfire Red Edition. Now this is the exact mouse you're about to watch the review on. All you require is 500 likes on this video. So make sure before watching the review, hit that like button, it helps us a lot. We definitely appreciate all your viewership, all your engagement on our videos. So as soon as we hit our target of 500 likes on this video, we're gonna give this mouse away. So we're gonna have another separate giveaway official video for this mouse as soon as we hit our target. So again, we appreciate all your support, all your views, and one of you lucky winners might uh, get your hands on this awesome mouse. So thanks for watching guys, and enjoy the review. So hey guys, this is Dimitri, and welcome back to another Harkonox review. Have any of you heard of Rokat? One year ago, probably not, particularly in Canada, but they are sure expanding their North American reach and their products are finally making their way into our hands. Now, there's really so many peripherals today in the market that it becomes very difficult to differentiate yourself from the rest of the competition. Compure isn't revolutionary in the sense that it holds the basic principles that are needed for gaming without being too ambitious. Now what we have here is the Hellfire Red Edition, priced at $80, with other color options available as well. But this red and black combo I think will definitely spice up your desk space. The coating on the entire body is rubberized, which feels very nice, but we do need more coarse texture on the sides for a steadier grip. Also definitely expect the rubberized surface to wear with time. Now this illuminated Rockat logo is a nice addition, although it's not exactly uniform, but that's just us being picky. Ergonomically speaking, the mouse feels very light at 90 grams with no weight adjustments, but it's also not a very large mouse either, so it complements its lightweight pretty good. This is particularly important for those who prefer lower DPI and like to lift off the mouse while aiming, so we don't have any issues in that department. Your thumb rests comfortably and in the perfect reach for those browser buttons and your point finger can quickly access the DPI adjustments. Now the DPI buttons on the computer have excellent feedback and require quite a bit of force to register and same goes for the browser buttons that have just the right amount of travel and resistance. Now usually what we see is some sort of LED to indicate what DPI setting you're using or which profile, but with the computer we have a rather different approach. Take a listen. 6,400 DPI, 8,200 DPI, volume up, volume down, volume up, volume down, profile 3, profile 4, 8,200 DPI. <laughs> That's right, the driver software by default will announce what profile, DPI setting and even achievements. Not in-game achievements, but mouse achievements, which is rather unusual. It does show you all the click and scroll statistics, for example. Now, speaking of the scroll wheel, this is one of the best scroll wheels that I have ever used on a mouse. There is just the right amount of resistance and you can feel every little scroll step. It doesn't wobble and the rubberized surface helps with perfect operation every time. So from an ergonomic and button design, the Compure is very satisfactory to use. Now coming into the software, we have all the customization needed to really personalize the feel, uh, starting with the main control where you can adjust 5 different DPI settings all the way up to 8200 DPI. We have sensitivity options and scroll speed, pretty standard stuff. Obviously button assignment and macro manager is key, and Rocket has this easy shift plus feature which allows secondary button assignment, which basically doubles the amount of things you can do with your mouse. By default, the backwards key is mapped to be the Easy Shift Plus. As long as it's pressed, the rest of the buttons will perform under secondary command. This is particularly useful for switching profiles or adjusting the volume, for example. Uh, this works very well for simple multitasking in desktop, but it provides a whole new level of mouse control for in-game, as now you have pretty much 6 extra button assignments for your mouse. For example, I found useful to map the talk key to be used with the right mouse button, which means you don't have to lift your fingers from the WASD zone. Also Rockat includes easy aim function, which essentially drops the DPI to your preferred setting, essentially acting as a sniper button as long as it's pressed, so that will definitely come in handy. 
In the advanced control tab, we get X and Y sensitivity, a tracking control unit that scans your surface and adjusts the laser accordingly for more accurate tracking. And for those who like to lift off the mouse, lift off distance can also be configured. Now, this mouse is rated at 1000 Hz, so absolutely no lag during gameplay, and the LED color and effect can also be adjusted. Now, the lit up logo is a nice touch, and if you do decide to silence the announcer, color is a good option to differentiate between profiles. So I took the time to explore my gaming library with the computer and have to say my experience has been very satisfactory. Upon setting up appropriate DPI levels, a sensitivity and turning off that annoying announcer, the mouse really grew on me as the buttons feel extremely sturdy and responsive. It's very comfortable despite its lightweight and really no complaints about the tracking either. Driver software is a little cramped but nevertheless provides a lot of flexibility for user preference, in particular the secondary button assignment which are totally worth it for improved gameplay. And all this for $80 we think is a good value if you want a proper gaming mouse. Now our only critique is that we wish the sides were more textured to provide a tidier grip. But all in all, this is a gaming geared mouse that definitely should be considered. And we're giving it the Hardware Canucks damn good and damn good value award. So thanks guys for watching. Make sure to like this video for a chance to win the Comb Pure. And we'll see you in the next one.